Hey guys, welcome back to yet another five minute workout. And in today's session, I'm gonna be mainly targeting the core, but I'll also be working on the back towards the end. So let's get started. For the first half minute, we're just gonna be working in plank. Make sure you pull your tummy up into your back to get the most out of this workout. You need to keep as straight as you can, and it should be a full body workout. If you ever get tired throughout the session, you can take small breaks in between, but the best is to do it throughout the whole time without any stops. The second exercise goes from low plank to high plank. This should be all working the core and a tiny bit the upper body, mostly the lower core and keep it stable. Um, to try to limit the movement. Okay, we're almost up on this set. That's another half a minute up dolphin. You go from like sort of a downward dog um, with your bum in the air um, into just over the front of the hands. This really works the core and it's a bit of a full body workout works the shoulders too. The, uh, the slower is the, the better. The slower you go, the harder it will be and the better workout you'll get out of it. Three quarters of the way through this half, min half a minute. Just keep going, push through the pain. Next we're in the boat. If you want to keep your legs bent because it's quite hard, um, and just move your hands up and down to work your core. Make sure you stick your chest out, otherwise you can straighten your legs. It makes it a lot harder and it works the legs a bit too. Keep doing this for half a minute and you'll get the full workout out of it. Stay as still as you can and keep your chest pumping out. Your arms all straight and your legs straight. Okay, we're going straight into crunches. Go right out as far as you can with your hands on your head and then right back in. Right out, right back in. Keep your chest stick, stuck out like the other one to make sure your form is almost perfect. This one is completely working the obliques and you should start to feel it really aching after this amount of time. We're almost halfway through the session. I can go straight in um, to twisting crunches. These ones work completely oblique, and the slower, also the better. Keep your chest stuck out like that. We're coming up to three minutes soon. Keep going, push through the pain. Okay, we're on three minutes. Back arms to work the lower abs. This is a great abs um, ab exercise and probably one of my favorites. You bring your knees right in and stick your feet almost to the floor, but just keep them just a tiny bit off the floor to get the most out of this workout. This can be one of my, um, the hardest exercises. And at the moment you should really feel your lower abs start to burn. Keep bringing your knees right up, and you can even place, but bring your knees up sideways. So it's crossing. This one will really work the obliques, and it's not as hard as the other way, but it's still pretty good. Keep your feet right close to the floor the whole time, and do it as slow as you can. Bring your knees right up to your chest. For the last minute, we're going to be working our back. Put your arms as far forward as you can. They should be exactly the right straight and your legs off the floor. Go up with your arms, just your arms for the first half. Go slowly and hold it for a couple of seconds at the top. This one's really hard on the back, especially the lower back. 
and now you do your legs. Keep your upper body still and just work your, this is the lower back and the bum for the legs. Keep pushing through it, we're almost there. Only got about 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that's the five minute session done. Um, it's a great session to do. You can do it anywhere, anytime. And it's best to do it two or three times to get the most out of this workout. But I'm just showing you one. So you repeat the session two or three times. Thank you very much. And don't forget to like and subscribe.